Never forget how a STEMI evolves on an ECG by just remembering someone doing a backflip. It starts out with hyperacute T waves, then the ST elevation kicks in, then the Q waves start developing, followed by inversion of the T wave. Those ST changes tend to go back to normal, but Q waves and T wave inversion may persist. By the way, you may be interested in my high yield study guide, Never Forget Cardiology. Comment cardiology for some free pages. Let's move on to end STEMI and unstable angina. They may have normal ECGs, but you're gonna need to look out for the signs of ischemia. Recall that end STEMI results in infarction of that subendothelial layer, whereas unstable angina does not. Again, the classic ischemic changes involve the ST area, either ST depression or T wave inversion. That damaged muscle has difficulty in repolarization. But in ischemia, remember it's that subendothelial layer which gets affected first. It stops the myocardium from repolarizing properly, the ECG pattern flips, so we see that T-wave inversion. I've got more memory hacks for you, but you're gonna have to follow me to come and see them next.